Hi, I'm Travis Dixon, an automation specialist from New Bern, North Carolina. Today I'm going to talk with you about the PowerFlex 755TS startup wizard using Connected Components Workbench. So let's get started. We're going to first open the Connected Components Workbench software. We're going to then discover our device, connect to our device. Once connected, we're going to go to the Wizards tab, open the PowerFlex 755T startup wizard. This will bring you to the welcome screen, it gives you your device identity. You have a firmware, series, and rating of your device. Here we'll select the language in which we choose to proceed with. Here we have our motor control options. For this example, we're going to use induction flux vector. Here we'll set any flying start options. This allows the drive to connect to a motor that is already spinning. Here we have our motor rating information. This is found on your motor nameplate. Here we set up any speed feedback. Here we set any stop modes or bus regulation we choose. Here we perform a direction test to verify our motor is running in the correct direction. It will notify you once the test is complete. Here is the motor ID test. If you have an uncoupled load, you can use a rotate tune. If you have a coupled load, you can do a static tune. Here we set our stop start control signals. As you filter through the available options, your selections change accordingly. Here we set up our main source of speed reference. Here we set up our ramp rates and speed limits. Our acceleration time, acceleration S curve, deceleration time, deceleration S curve, maximum forward and minimum forward speeds as well. Here we set up any other digital inputs we may need, such as a clear fault, enable, aux fault, pre-charge, or a jog. This tab will display any changes that you have made from factory defaults. We're going to then click finish. We're then going to go to the overview tab and or upload our changes to our device. Your device is now configured and ready to run. Thank you for watching this tech support video. For more videos like this, please visit and subscribe to the McNaught McKay YouTube channel.